This is Steve Fried with Diabetes in Control, and we're here at the 74th Scientific Sessions from the American Diabetes Association, and we have a special guest, uh, PhD Barbara Corky, who has a very unique career, and uh, maybe we can start out with, tell us a little bit about yourself and, and uh, what you're doing here as far as the presentation and the title of your presentation. Okay, gladly. Um, my training in this field was done in a rather unusual way. I actually never finished college, but I was in a program where I had hoped to obtain a bachelor's degree when I got through medical school, but I didn't like that. So I left medical school, and for many years I worked in laboratories as a technician, always in the same area of metabolic disease and always related to diabetes. And finally, when I was about 40, I went to graduate school and got my PhD. So that's how I came to be in the position I am today. Uh, my talk today was about the need for nutrition research in understanding the problems and finding solutions for them in diabetes and obesity. And what did that research tell you? It, the main important thing about that area is that there are thousands of things that have changed in our environment. And the dogma is that it's people's behavior that is responsible for this epidemic of obesity and diabetes. And I don't think that's right. I don't think the evidence for that is strong. There are correlations, strong correlations sometimes, but correlations don't ever tell you what's cause and what's effect. So uh, my principle is that when, as a scientist, if there are 5,000 things that have changed, we have to consider all of them, and we really haven't. And so among the things, major things that have changed is nutrition the way we interact with food, the way we interact with many aspects of life. All of those things have changed and they need to be considered. 